go take a look at a couple of these things in here. Thanks for work. Hi, Dave here with DIY Epoxy. In this video, we're gonna show you what to expect when you come to one of our countertop classes. So this one doesn't have a 20 ounce mark on it. So I'm gonna come over here and find one of these other marks that's right on the two here. So I'm just gonna double that up to the four. I don't know if you, if you wanna come over here and see what this looks like. You can see where the resin went into the hardener and the hardener's floating up around it because the resin's heavier. But we'll start mixing that and I'll show you. See how cloudy that is? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna make sure it's mostly mixed before we put the color in. You, you definitely want to mix by hand. You don't want to use a drill with an auger. See how that's getting clear now? I can almost see the stick. It's still not clear though. It's getting there. And now look at that. See how clear that is? So that's pretty well mixed. Now I'm gonna pour some off. So there's no streaks or anything like that in there. That gives you, as soon as you get it spread out, it gives you an hour now. So these, these little notch spreaders help you kind of get things evened out. You'd still want to, what it's called, touch every part of this countertop with a brush. <laughs> okay, that's just gonna thaw out. Now, if I didn't touch every part of that countertop now, after the fact with a brush, some of those trial marks could show up. This will never flow over to that point. You could use a brush, you could use your hands. Um, with the marbling technique, we're, we, we need a brush to do the artwork part anyway, so I'm just gonna use a brush to do this. Less is more. We're just gonna kinda do you know, some random stuff. You can always add. It's really hard to take it out. We're just gonna kinda chop, chop this in. Yeah, most of the time that's about what I do, but see how it's just kind of moving and got some cool selling and stuff going on. And you saw how easy that was. That's, that would make a beautiful countertop right there. And some people like to put the, the mica powders in first and then pour the epoxy on top so it doesn't dust up in your face, but however you want to do it. That's kind of a pretty gold. All right. So I'm just going to do this right here. If this was the edge, I need to get out of the brush. I'm thinking heat gun. What do you think? Yeah. Push it around. Oh yeah, I love that right there. That's very cool. So I could live with a countertop that looked like that. Yeah. Is that too far? No, yeah, that's good. That's just gorgeous, and there was like nothing to it. Good choice on colors, people.
Does it go clear though? Yeah, it's on the mm -hmm. blue. Yeah, Culinary yeah. stone. Yes. They're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> we did the island one. Right. Yeah. I don't think we're like super level here. <laughs> Can I not look at it over here? No. Oh, that gold looks, it looks cool though. So right now, could you torch that in and give it like a feather look and then let it spread? Um, or heat gun that, this gold right here? Like. I don't know what it would do. There we're gonna try it. It's gonna look so cool though if it floods in there. That's gonna be cool. I wanna try it, but they got the heat gun. That one floated up again. We'll see what happens. We got some that are floating I like up it again. Though. Yeah. It's cool. It's floating because we didn't wait long enough before we did the top coat. Correct. You know what we can do is just bring pour a little bit into that after they're we, done. Yeah, we're gonna Look do at that. The depth in that now. Oh yeah. So that's why I wanted to flood coat this so you guys can see that the difference that the clear coat makes. It just gets every. It makes everything pop. I put copper on it. I put more. Huh? I put more. I the picture of the very beginning. It was literally like yeah. neon orange. Yeah. What did I say at the beginning too? I'm not done. Wait for it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put some more gold on there. I've done that. Um, there you go. I've done child concrete. I don't have my glass on. Oh, fine. I want to do it. Here, here, I'll hold it. Focus. Focus. Okay, you got it. <laughs> now everybody's watching and I'm nervous. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> You can find our class on our website, diyepoxy.com. Click on events and then click on the class that you wish to join. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.